Hey guys, Chris from Versus 3D down here at 3D Printing Canada with another installment of how to build something cool in Fusion 360 and then print it. Yes! Today, I'm doing something slightly simple, but cool. I'm going to make a coaster, but the it's not so much hey make a square and do a coaster because that's pretty much how making a coaster standard coaster goes but what i wanted to do is i wanted to show you a very simple demonstration of how to use an image file in 3d printing for a multi-layer kind of depth coolness so let's check it out okay here we are let's get going this is going to be a quick one so very simply, we're going to start with a sketch on the XY plane, and we're going to make that a center rectangle. So sketch, rectangle, center rectangle, click in the middle, and we're going to make this 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Excellent. Now, just to make this a little bit nicer, we're going to do some fillets on the corners here. So we'll go up to sketch, fillet. And we're going to click right on the point here. It's not going to let me. Okay, we'll click here and here. And we'll make that five. Go up here, right click, repeat fillet. Here and here, five. Over here, right click. Both sides and five. And one more down here, right click, repeat fillet. Click, click, five. Done. Okay. Stop the sketch. And let's extrude this. So E, we'll click on the profile. And we're going to go not too thick on this. We'll say six millimeters. Okay. So now we've got that. Let's fill it this top here just so it's not straight. So it's got a nice little curve on the top. So I'm going to hit F for fill it. Click on this profile, this uh, line here that goes all the way around, and we'll make it two millimeters. Okay. So now we basically have this square coaster with rounded corners. Woohoo! Boring. Now let's add a picture. So I'm going to insert an SVG. So insert SVG. Choose the file. Or actually, let's not do that. Let's be smart for a second. Let's actually create a sketch. And we'll create that sketch right on this face here. And we'll try this again. Now, we'll insert that SVG. We'll choose the file. So now, here's the image that I want to use, but it's upside down and backwards. So I'm just going to click these two little guys here. This is the right orientation for the picture. So now we're going to move it over and we can, so we can, you can see the tools we have here. We can move it up and down, side to side, or we can free move it. We can also rotate it if we wanted to. We don't want to. There we go. Um, and then this little arrow, this little curved guy here is actually scale. You can scale it up or down. So I'm going to scale it up just a tiny bit but not so big that it doesn't fit. Okay, that looks about good. So now we have our profiles here. I'm gonna stop the sketch. Look at it back at the home view. And now I'm gonna click E for extrude and click on these three profiles and then the one profile on the A. And instead of raising it up and extruding it out, we're going to cut it in to the coaster. So let's just go down negative one. So just one millimeter thick. Okay. So now you can see we've got a nice cutout of Captain America. Because I'll tell you, if you don't know me, you don't know what a Captain America addict I am. If you've seen uh, any parts of my print shop, there's Captain America everywhere. Also, my office, all over my desk, on my walls, everywhere. So, 
don't judge me. Autobots, Captain America, it's a thing. I'm a nerd. Anyway, so now that we have this done, this is really all we need to do to do a single color um, coaster with an image cutout. You can get really, really creative if you have a dual extruder machine or uh, the new CRX um, has the, uh, the multi material, so you can do two materials. Or if you had something like a Palette Plus, you could do up to four materials. I've done some really cool coasters in multiple colors, things like that. Um, for, you know, I've, for some for sale, some for gifts for people, some for my coffee table. Um, but it's all really limited by your imagination and the equipment that you have. So this is something that anybody with a 3D printer can do, single color, something simple. You could put a picture of something you want here. You could put your initials. You could have like a really nice, uh, you know, for me, an R with, you know, all kinds of flowy, fancy, foo-foo things. Um, it's just really up to you. So um, this is just the basics on how to do it. So right now I'm going to make this coaster. I'm going to send it to Simplify 3D. Bam, drop it right in. I'm going to print this on my T-Rex. So that is Grimlock. And here we go. So very simple. Just prepare to print. And it shouldn't take too, too long. Simplify 3D is never accurate. It's always much shorter than what it really takes. This will probably take two and a half hours or so. But we can just give it a quick look. That's an awful lot of infill. I don't think we need that much. I didn't check my settings from last time. Yeah, we can definitely do a little bit less. We can say 12 and we'll see what that looks like. That's better. You could probably go 10. Now the thing with coasters, if you don't typically do a lot of top layers, um, you really want to have more because you want that nice top to be, you know, a nice finish. So I typically do five bottoms and five tops. Um, you may want to bump it up to six if you're doing anything smaller than uh, 0.2, even seven or eight. If you go really fine, if you go to 0.1, uh, I would do 10 top layers. Um, the bottom layers don't really need to be this many, so I'm actually going to bump it down to three because you're not looking at the bottom, you're looking at the top. So now it'll take just a little bit less time. Again, we'll give it a quick run through here. But I think this will come out really nice. All right, I'm just going to exit preview mode for a second, and I'm going to make a couple of these. So I'm going to hit Control D or Command D on a Mac, and I'm just going to make one more. Oh, not meant to do one, not three. So now we'll send and arrange those and prepare to print again. So we're going to print two of these. So I'm just going to save these and set them up to print. We'll see you after the time lapse. All right, and here we go. Look, two Captain America coasters. Yes. Again, I know I said in the other part of the video that I'm kind of a Captain America freak. I didn't mention the giant Captain America tattoo I have on my back. I'm not gonna show you, don't worry. Anyway, so here we go. Now, never mind that my printer is um, this particular printer. I haven't calibrated in a while and it's slightly over extruding. So we'll ignore that part. So this finish would be much smoother and maybe a little fur from my dog on there too. <sighs> anyway, so you can see you've got a nice little cutout 
for Captain America. And it's just very simple to do with that step with taking that image file as an SVG and dropping it right on your whatever surface or face that you're gonna, that you want that image on. Now, this was just a basic demonstration of how it works. Um, you can do so much, like in my business, I do so much of this with multi-extrusions, multi-colors. Um, it, it really, it can get very, very advanced. It just depends how far you wanna take it. So I'm actually starting a series on my YouTube channel, which will be linked down there as soon as I get back from my anniversary vacation um, on multi-material, multi-color, multi-process, um, and multi-extruder printing. So take a look, click, click, and subscribe to mine too. Here, don't forget here, you gotta subscribe here, and also on mine too. So you have two, you'll get two notifications because you'll click the bell, and you'll thumbs up and all that stuff. So again, coaster. Nothing exciting about the coaster, but it's really cool that Captain America's on the coaster, isn't it? Uh-huh. So, um, I would really love it if you had some ideas of things you would like to see designed or need help designing. Po post a comment down there. That would be really great. And all that good stuff. So, until next video. Oh, and our next video is going to be, uh, somebody has suggested in a previous video, a comment. They wanted to see some electronics stacking bins. So I'm gonna do those next. So stay tuned for that and have a great day. And I will see you guys after I get back from my vacation. Take it easy.